Welcome to the Norton Natural School's sixth form subject information video on the A-Level Physics course. The A-Level Physics course is structured in four modules, two taught simultaneously in Year 12 and two taught simultaneously in Year 13. In Year 12 we begin by focusing on the basics with the Forces and Motion module alongside the Electrons, Waves and Photons module. In Year 13 we come to the more advanced physics, focusing on the Newtonian World and Astrophysics module being taught alongside the Particles and Medical Physics module. Now this course is 100% exam based, meaning there will be three exams at the end of Year 13 the students are to prove themselves on. The first exam being the Modelling Physics exam, worth 100 marks, focusing on the content taught by myself, Mr Samuel, that being the Forces and Motion module in Year 12, and the Newtonian World and Astrophysics module in year 13. The second exam they'll come across is the Exploring Physics exam, again worth 100 marks, primarily focusing on the content taught by Miss Jenner, that being the electrons, waves and photons content in year 12 and the particle and medical physics content in year 13. And then the third exam, the Unified Physics exam, being worth 70 marks, and this is essentially what ties these four modules together. It is a series of difficult problem solving questions that is the hallmark of the A-level physics course and what sets it apart from so many other A-level courses. Now we support these students through year 12 and year 13 in many different ways. One of these being the weekly physics drop-in that happens where students can come for an hour after school and problem solve or go through any question they need help with. An A-level in physics can lead students to many different places and it's a strong starting point to an application for any STEM course at any university. If you were to go into an A-level in physics and then into a degree in physics, this could lead you to places like applied physics working at universities or studying the marvels of our universe in astrophysics or mechanical engineering in an engineering sector or even to places like the banking and financial sector. Now you might be asking how an A-level in physics can lead to those places and it all stems from the problem solving aspect of the course. That is a rare and valued thing by lots of universities when they're looking at applications from students. In terms of entry requirements to the course, a minimum of six separately identifiable GCSE subjects at grade six or above, or an average of a grade six in the best six GCSE subjects achieved, is required. At least a grade 5 in both English and Mathematics is required and a GCSE Physics grade of 6 or for GCSE combined students a grade 7-6. A grade 6 in Mathematics is also often desirable. It is not a requirement to take A-level Mathematics to take A-level Physics. All the Mathematics you will need for A-level Physics will be taught in, in class and you will not require any mathematics past the level of GCSE to be able to understand what is going on at A-level physics. Well, thank you for your time. If you have any questions regarding the A-level in physics or anything else sixth form related, please don't hesitate to contact us at sixthformrecruitment at nks.kent.sch.uk. I hope to see you soon.